Alright guys, and welcome back to another match experience here on the channel. I'm James. I'm Adam. <laughs> what? Adam's here? Yep, uh, we actually just didn't get recorded an intro uh, to begin with. Um, I was actually at work throughout the morning, didn't have time uh, for to record an intro. I had to go straight from work to some Reading. Um, so yeah, basically here we're with the match day experience. Uh, going into the game, we were both proper excited, I'd say. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Obviously, it was a great win for Reading in the end. Obviously, you guys will all see that now uh, throughout the video. Adam? Yeah, you know, uh, you're basically seeing the video how we did, but it's fantastic. Uh, uh, then our little review at the end as well, which is yeah. always good. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's crack into the video. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Alright guys, got a team sheet here for you, then we've got Al Habsi in goal, Gunter Obita, Blackett, Liam Moore, Paul McShane, George Evans, Williams, Beerins, McCleary and Samuel, unchanged from uh, last weekend. Uh, we got Stuart Moore, Cooper, Mendes, Harriet, Mate, Watson and Kelly on the bench. And what do you think of that team sheet? Personally, I reckon it's not a bad team sheet. Um, obviously, why change what's not broken? Yeah, it's a very good team, unchanged, so yeah, good team. Well, what's the point of uh, changing what's not broken? And have a look at this, bloody old Bristol City, you're outdone yourself, fair play. 3,000 coming today for them. Uh, yeah, should be a good one. Another thing I want to mention, obviously, is there was no uh, prediction league this week. Uh, big apologies for that, obviously, we didn't mean for it. Uh, there was too blurry, weren't well, Adam? Yeah, very blurry. Um, not much really, so, um, yeah, but uh, we'll make up for it uh, for the next week. So, um, we might, might do something different as well, yeah. some at Cone. We'll do something for you guys to make up for it. Uh, big apologies for that. But uh, another thing as well, Danny Williams' new haircut. Has he gone for the serial killer look? Uh, I have no idea. Um, obviously, you know, he's got it all back for some reason. But um, Dreadlock as well. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so hope for a Danny Williams goal with a new yeah. haircut. Yeah. Uh, as well, predictions, we might as well get them in ourselves. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm going in a 1 0 Reading win. I'm going to go Yaku, mate, to come off the bench and score. What do you reckon? I'm going to go 2 0 Reading and I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Dominic Samuel's first goal. So yeah, let's hope we can score. Let's hope Williams can score with yeah. his new haircut. New goal, new haircut. Come on, boys. Right, I've got Dean here again, mate. What's your score prediction? 1-0 uh, with Cleary, first goal. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. It's a penalty, mate. Stop go that. away! Stay on with it, mate. Come on, with it. Go on, Gareth! Go on! Go on, Gareth! Come on, Gar! Come on! Come on, Come on, son! Come on! Don't do that! Get him out of the box! Come on! Come on! Go, on, Gar! I'm shaking, I'm shaking! Saying we should have dropped yeah. you. Easy. <laughs> Who are you? 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 Sit, sit down. Hey, we're by far the greatest team. The world is ever seen. What are you, dueling super? Blah blah blah. <laughs> Oh, 
time now. Come on, boys! Let's wake up! Let's not let this slip! Right, so that's five wins in a row now for Ren. Absolutely fantastic. Another 2-1 victory this time. Did, he, did uh, take away our uh, clean sheets record. But it don't matter though. Uh, we picked up another win. 2-1. Goals from uh, McCleary and Roy Behrens. And then uh, Gary O'Neill getting the goal yeah. for Bristol City. Let's talk about the goals to begin with. McCleary, penalty. Dominic Samuel again, influential with his pace. Yeah, it was um, fantastic work by Dominic Samuel, you know, showing he chased the ball down basically, you know, running onto the ball. You wouldn't see that from Jan Kermigan really, would you? you know, well, no, because he hasn't got ball. the pace to do that, that's, yeah, whereas that's the Dominic Samuel does. It's just the difference of pace and the matter of the team. Obviously, if Jan Kermigan had pace, he'd do that, but he doesn't have the pace. But so anyway, um, whereas when you see the ball being lifted up to Dominic Samuel, he doesn't win the headers usually. Nah. Whereas if you see Kermigan, he'll win the headers in the air. Mm. Um, it's just a matter of having different strikers. Um, Samuel's great for the pace bit, not for the heading. Kermigan's great for the heading, not for the pace bit. End of the so, day. Um, I'd like to see them both together. Yeah. With the penalty, um, ref didn't give it at first, actually. You know, yeah, Lino gave it. And then Lino gave it. Got <laughs> slated for the rest of the game, though, <laughs> by the City fans. But yeah, um, it looked like a penalty from where we were sat, you know. Yeah, so. it looked like um, their player, I can't remember who it was, it was something Sun at the end. Um, uh, kind of like came pushed, up, yeah. pushed Samuel over. Samuel's gone down uh, after using his pace to get to the ball. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, yeah, able to Definitely. win the penalty. McCleary stepped up. I think that's another penalty miss for him. Uh, Rotherham. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of some other penalties he's missed. Rotherham. Barnsley missed. Scored this one, though. Um, obviously, the deflection. Uh, rebound, sorry. Um, good good, good shot afterwards. Yeah, you know, you've got the rebound, so I'm walking your ass for a bit. You know, I would like to see Dominic Salmon take the penalty. I'm not going to lie. Um, considering he did win it. But, you know, McCleary, you know, he's a bit more... He was going to take it because he's yeah. a second choice penalty taker. Obviously, mm -hmm. Jan's our first choice whenever we get a penalty, it goes to Jan. Uh, and then the second choice is obviously McCleary. So, obviously, McCleary's going to step up if he's the second choice penalty taker. Yeah. We're going to give it to him. Uh, another thing I want to comment on Liam Moore picking up a yellow card actually means he's out for the Fulham game. It's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously, yeah. we don't know what kind of system we're going to play. If we keep with the same formation, we're going to have to bring another centre back into the side. Uh, we might move Chris Gunter across. That's something that I feel like Yapstan may try and do. Obviously, we've seen mm. Gunter play centre-back before. If he's playing in a three-man centre-back position, I don't know what we're going to see from him. Uh, personally, I'd like to see Joey Van den Berg come back. If he's fit, obviously. If he's injured, there's no way I'd want to see Joey back. Obviously, well, I mean, what are we going to do? Have him fucking hobbling around. <laughs> um, I feel like if no one else is there, Cooper, I don't know just yet. Obviously... If he's there with Blackett and McShane, he's got the two people that can sandwich him and kind of w hold his hand throughout the game, if that makes sense. But I don't really know, because the way we play Cooper is, oh, what, I've got the ball, just boot it away. <laughs> I feel like we need to change the formation back to a 4-3-3 for this next game. Um, yeah, in my opinion, I'm not going to put Cooper in there, considering you know, he, has, he hasn't had any you know, experience of Yapsan as a player football, as he is you know, going to be playing like we did last season, hooping the ball up. <laughs> He's not going to, you know, pass it around. Doing and we all know what happened it. at Fulham away last year. Yeah, so, you know, it's a big miss that um, Moore's not in the team. But I reckon, you know, it's a good shout, you know, putting um, Gunter back into there, the uh, back three with, obviously, Paul McShane, Blackett, and, um, obviously, the Gunner himself. Um, could see bit Ty Watson that, but, come in. Ty Watson, yeah. Um, uh, could see maybe Yaku Mate drop back a little bit, maybe to right wing back. Um, someone else we could explore options with. You could put, um, again, yeah, you could put, Gunter at centre-back, and then you could put Ty Watson at right wing-back. So, you know, 
uh, another option there. So it's very debate. It's uh, very interesting what Yapsan does choose to do, but uh, hopefully it would be the right choice. It's going to be interesting as well because obviously last year Fulham was such a massive turn yeah. point in our season. I feel like. If we can get it right in this game, I feel like we could go on to maybe make the playoffs. Yeah, These hopefully. next four games are the biggest games of the season for Reading. We obviously had Bristol City, we had uh, Fulham that are coming up, we've got Leeds as well. Uh, the next games are really, and Sheffield Wednesday as well after that. Mm. Four massive games for Reading. And we passed the first hurdle, got to get past yeah. the next three. You just got to keep going. Play the, if, we're gonna, if, we're gonna, if we keep playing, we're playing, and you know, we're going to do well, no doubt about it. Um, Our know, style of football is different to what the championships used to. Yeah. Um, Obviously, you know, yeah, that's made a massive difference, and you know, his style of football he's brought into the Reading seems just unbelievable. Um, we've, we've, we've needed something for Reading for ages. We need that change in the style of football. You know, we've just been oofing it. You know, we would never come on the ball. We just, no one wanted the ball. Now everyone wants the ball. Everyone's moving past them and moving. Um, you know, fantastic passion all through the team. You know, do you see everyone coming at, at the end today? Yeah, everyone Go coming on. in together. Yeah. Even when Beeren scored, everyone yeah. came in together. Beeren's with a sweet volley as well. Nice goal from him. Uh, Honourable mentions performances. I think Chris Gunter played well. As much as I'm a Chris Gunter critic, I feel like ever since I said all that stuff about him, he's kind of turned it around. And really. <laughs> yeah, and blocked us on Twitter as well. Uh, I feel like he's turned it around, really. I'm going to be honest, he's become he's been a bit better any uh, i would admit he did at some points today do some things wrong but he put his body on the line at some points as well and had a decent game going forward yeah i'd never say it's gonna really but um yeah fan, you know he's been fan, fantastic recently and uh, um he's turned it, it around it, when he does make a mistake though everyone just goes mental yeah. <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um but the thing is he makes the mistake too often and usually yeah. when he makes the mistake it leads to a goal that's the only reason why yeah he, everyone moans about him Past couple of games, he's manned up a bit. I didn't find he wasn't, you know, he wasn't really good. His attack was strong today, but uh, going forward, he played well. Yeah, going him forward, and McCleary well. again, that mm. partnership doing well. Uh, I thought Danny Williams was quite good in the midfield. Ran around quite a lot, made a few tackles yeah. here and there, got on the ball, had a few good as well dribbles, and finally Paul McShane. He was great, wasn't he? I thought George Evans had a good game as well in there. Um, you know, um, we missed out Ali. <laughs> oh, Ali, yeah, we'll come, we'll come to Ali in a second, but. Um, yeah, again, McShane was fantastic. Boss it. Abraham had no chance against him, did he, really? But, um, Paul McShane was battling him for pace yeah. as well at some points, which I was really impressed with. Paul McShane put his body on the line, won almost every strength battle, and I was proud of Paul out there today. Yeah, it's fantastic. I'm always happy with Paul. <laughs> he doesn't do anything wrong, to be honest. Enough. But um, man of the match, finally then, uh, I'm going to go with Ali Al-Habsi. Are you fair enough? I'm going to go... I might have to go Ali as well, to be honest. Uh, I reckon, actually, I'm going to go with more... I thought he had a fantastic game, you know, putting his body on the line, clearing the ball out, you know, winning every, basically, every battle, every header. I thought he had a fantastic game out there. Blackie didn't play too bad either. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's been a really interesting one, obviously. We picked up another win. Uh, no discredit to Bristol City. They played well. Yeah. Uh, maybe setting off a flare when you scored. Mm. Or getting uh, a corner. <laughs> Yeah, we'll um, get in the corner. Fair play to them though, you know. Uh, three and a half thousand. Yeah, three and a half thousand. They haven't won at the day ski for five games and they still brought that many. Um, so yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. Obviously, I've been James. I've been Adam. And we'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.